Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you the abilities of the Crystal Wyverns on the Crystal Isles. There are three different types and they all have different abilities. There's a the Blood Crystal Wyvern, the Ember Crystal Wyvern, then the Tropical Crystal Wyvern. The Tropical Crystal Wyverns can be found in the Blue Crystal area. The Blood Crystal Wyverns can be found in the Red Crystal area. And the Ember Crystal Wyverns can be found in the Orange Crystal area. I've done videos on both how to tame these passively and by stealing their eggs then raising them. You can find the links to those videos at the end. Right, let's start by taking a tropical one out for a spin. This wyvern's classed as a water one. Fly over water, you have to get really low so you can touch it. I thought touching it with your wings would work, but you actually have to touch it with your claws. Listen out for the splash sound, then you get a buff in the top right called hydrated. This boosts your speed, health regeneration and damage for 30 seconds. If you fly down and keep skimming the surface of the water, you can keep resetting that buff, then the timer goes away. Don't fly too low though or you'll crash into the water and it'll dismount you. I'll ditch it on purpose to show you what I mean. Go up and then down. The wyvern still stays above the water, so get back on it, lift it up a bit, It'll throw you off, and then get back on it and take off again. Let's test out its damage. I don't have a buff on in the top right. Let's attack it normally. Right mouse button to do its steam breath. Right, 28 damage continuous stream from its breath. Then you get a 40 damage over time tick that lasts a few seconds. Let's touch your water and try the buff. That's gone up to 33 damage from 28. And the damage over time remains at 40 still. So there is a slight boost in damage. And if you bite it with left mouse button, you get 106 on this wyvern anyway. You want some Bronto stakes. And when the buff's gone, the bite goes down to 92 damage. Let's check out a boosted health regen. Without a buff, it goes up a point every one to two seconds. Let's touch your water, get the bonus. It goes up a couple of points every second now. So yeah, that helps it heal. Let's take it back. Try the next one. That's the tropical one. Let's try the blood crystal wyvern. This one's got quite a nice ability. Just find something to attack. Those fawny dragons will do. Unfortunately I'm going to have to damage my own wyvern. But it's not too happy about getting shot in the head. Right, its health's just gone down to over a half. If you right mouse button and breathe your blood breath onto it, you'll notice a little red line from your target to your wyvern. Because this is a vampire wyvern. And it's drawing the victim's health from it to you and healing your wyvern. I don't think the attack is as strong as the others, but it can heal itself up and stay in the fight longer. Now that the wyvern's sufficiently damaged, let's try draining a few juicy targets all at once. Look at all these draining lines. Well, my health shot up a bit, hasn't it? Try to shave the stats as I'm draining them. If I die, I don't think you get any more health from them. I'll get those ones that are trapped in a hole. I am a vampire. That's good, almost healed up. If you find slow moving dinos with lots of health, you can use them as portable healing packs for your wyvern. Just keep moving back and don't let them hit you. Almost completely healed up. I've not noticed any other abilities it has. But if you have, let me know in the comments below. 
Right, let's park this one next to the others. Take the final one out. The Ember Crystal Wyvern. Now this one has the ability that you've probably used before. As the Ember Wyverns breathe fire. It's one of the best damage Wyverns. And it cooks the creatures after you've attacked it. Leaves damage over time on it. So you can just flame it and fly off. Flame's really good against all insects. And fire does loads of damage against bigger creatures. Let's have a barbecue. Looking a bit worse for wear. Let's get some food. I thought because this is an ember one, maybe it's got some ability or resistance to heat or lava. So I float up to the top of a red tree volcano. But it didn't seem to offer anything. If you've never used a wyvern, I'll show you what else it can do. While you're flying, if you press C over a small creature, you can pick it up and take it back to your base and tame it. Press C again to drop it. You can go up to trees, press C, while well, it's landed. It'll flap its wings and harvest some wood but mostly thatch. If you go up to creatures, press C again, it will blow them forward away from you. Steer it to where you want. creature. There we go, works a bit. Right mouse button to use your breath, then left mouse button to bite. And you want to put lots of points into stamina. Because that's what you use for all your abilities. Okay guys, that's all the abilities I know about the Crystal Wyverns. If you know of any others, please let us know in the comments below. I've linked videos at the end showing you how to easily tame these Crystal Wyverns, both a passive way and stealing their eggs. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!